Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song PDA by Interpol. As usual, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers. Sorry, my cat just jumped off my desk and knocked a bunch of shit over. You know how it goes. Anyway, the song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers. So as always, if you want to get your song reviewed, just do what they did. Leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my list. Although the list is like infinity number of songs long so good luck <laughs> out there uh, but typically if a song gets requested a lot i'll it'll get on my radar a little bit faster right so pda is one of those songs where a lot of people are like you gotta listen to this song and just a quick aside a quick note about interpol you know a while back i would say maybe probably over a year ago at this point we had a good string of like interpol songs that we did here on the channel we did come here and then we did obstacle one which is actually a song i've heard before um and then we did um uh, evil and i i enjoyed all three of those um and all three of them of course i mean again one of them i already heard but all three of them you know essentially went on my playlist but i kind of honestly sort of forgot about them until like uh i mean honestly like a couple weeks ago um evil came on i was i was just like shuffling through my songs right evil came on and i was like oh man what song is this and i looked at it and i was like oh yeah this is i did this song on the channel i was like this song is so good. <laughs> like, you know, obviously, like, if you go back and watch those those reviews, I, I said very positive things about each each three, each one of those songs, right? Um, but it just happens sometimes on the channel that, you know, like, I listen to just so much music that even if I like a song and even if I say it's going to make a playlist, sometimes it hits the playlist and I just kind of, it just kind of sits there for a little bit until I, until I, you know, one day kind of listen to it and I'm like, oh, wow, I forgot how good this is. It happens more often than I cared to admit, but that's, it's the funny thing about having like a reaction channel like this, right? It's like you guys get to see the first reaction, like the first listen, um, but you don't really get to see what happens after that. A lot of times what happens after that is uh, I enjoyed the song even more than I did when I when I reviewed it. And again, that's how evil has been. It's kind of how Kamir has started to be. Once I realized how much I, I liked evil, I was like, let me go back and listen to Kam Kamir again. And I was like, actually, I really like that as well. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to get to Interpol uh, again soon because those songs came up. And I was like, yeah, th this is really great. So anyway, I, ho I hope I'm not rambling on too much. But it just, again, kind of an aside there, a funny little story for you. But anyway, let's jump in. This is, again, PDA Interpol. Let's do it.
like that. I like that. I will say I have, if I, if I had to nitpick one thing, I feel like that ending kind of dragged on a little bit. There was a part, oh, I can't even find it for you if I tried, where like they paused and then they picked back up. Picked back up. I kind of wish in the last maybe minute or so they would have done that like one more time. I think that would have really kicked up the song for me. I, I right here, yeah. Like when they pause that, they bring in the guitar, and they bring in everything else. Like that was really cool. And I wish, again, as this kind of last part sort of dragged on a little bit, I was like, man, I, I really wish they would have like maybe brought that back one last time. Like cut the guitar out do a full pause, bring the guitar back, and then bring the rest of the instruments. But regardless, it was a very fun song, um, and, and I really enjoyed it. So, hey, let's break it down piece by piece like we always do, of course, starting with those lyrics. Now, there is an about section here I do want to read. It says, PDA is about a relationship gone sour. Uh, the lyrics are directed towards an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife uh, and were written by Paul Banks, the lead singer of Interpol. The song is the first track of Interpol's third EP, Interpol, uh, and the fourth track on their certified gold album, Turn On the Bright Lights. PDA is one of the band's oldest songs, oh wow, okay, and has appeared on many of their early demos and EPs, the Fucked ID EP and the Precipitate EP. Between the releases of the Interpol EP and Turn On the Bright Lights, Interpol released PDA as a promo single, along with a music video directed by Christopher Mills. PDA was nominated for an MTV2 award in 2003. All right, let's look at those lyrics. I can go see Interpol. Tickets as low as $67. It's not, not, not half bad, actually. Anyway, yours is the only version of my desertion that I could ever descri- uh, subscribe to. Yours, well, that is a great line to start up the song, by the way. Yours is the only version of my desertion that I could ever subscribe to. That is all that I can do. You are a past dinner, the last winner. I'm raping all around me. Hmm. Uh, until the last drop is behind you. Oh, so yeah, it's like the relationship, I guess, probably ended, right? Like, uh, and you have a version of events that is uh, actually maybe correct, right? You're like, yours is the version of my desertion, of my my leaving, right? Uh, that I can never, could ever believe. Um, and you're so cute when you're frustrated, dear. Yeah, you're so cute when you're sedated, dear. Oh, yes, dear. Sleep tight, grim, sleep tight, grim, right? Uh, we have 200 couches where you can sleep tight, grim right. We have 200 couches where you can sleep tight, grim right. I'm wondering if it's like that trope where like, you know, uh, when you get in an argument, someone's got to go sleep on the couch, that kind of thing. So I wonder if that's kind of what he, what he's alluding to here. Uh, but maybe they, if they fight so often like that they have a couch for each time they fight, right? I, I, mean, I don't know. I'm just kind of grasping at straws here. But um, we have 200 couches where you can sleep tight, sleep tonight simpleton sleep tonight you cannot follow sleep tonight through the words alone you are the only person who's completely certain there's nothing here to be into that is all that you can do you are a past sinner the last winner and everything we've come to it makes you 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 are the only person who's completely certain there's nothing here to be into so like you're the one who's like fully given up on the relationship right uh that is all that you can do you are a past center the last winner so you are sort of getting like you're coming out on top in this relationship because you are the one who maybe is not hurt as much as i am you know that kind of thing is that's kind of how i'm reading it uh and everything we've come to it makes it makes you 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 uh you can but you cannot safely say that while while i will be away that you will not consider sadly how you helped me to stray and you will not reach me i am resenting a position that's past resentment i like that you cannot i mean i like the way it's written maybe not the <laughs> not what actually happened but you cannot safely say that while i will be away that you will not consider sadly how you helped me astray so it's like yeah like we broke up or the relationship sucks right but like um you will never like stop and think about how you like what part you played in this right uh, and you will not reach me. I am resenting a position that's past resentment. And so it's like I am beyond resenting you. And I'm sort of resenting being in that, having to be in that position. And now I can't consider. And now there is th- this distance. So uh, sleep tight, tight, grim, right? We have 200 couches where you can sleep tight, grim, right? We have 200 couches. 
uh, simpleton, you cannot follow through the words alone, something to say, something to do, nothing to say when there's nothing to do. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I, I definitely get the idea that it's about, uh, again, like a, like a messed up relationship, either one that has just recently ended or one that's kind of going downhill fast, right? And so uh, I think it's very creatively written. There's some lines in there that, are, that make me go like, oh, wow, that's, that's interesting. It's neat the way that they, that they wrote that. So yeah, I think lyrically, this one's very solid. I give it two big thumbs up. As far as instrumentation and vocals go, you know, the vocals kind of reminds me of somebody and I'm trying to put my finger on it. I don't necessarily want to say like Ian Curtis uh, of Joy Division because I feel like people can come out of the woodworks and try to stone me. But he kind of gives me that that same like he's very clearly like singing, but it almost does sound almost I don't want to say monotone, but he has this sort of like um, monotonality to him that I think really works here. Um, and again, I don't think that makes any sense because he does have a good like voice when he sings, like he, he sings just fine. Uh, but I think it's just a certain style that to me is again reminiscent of like Joy Division. Um, but yeah, I, I actually I've come to really appreciate his voice, and I think his voice is one thing that has uh, you know amongst all the Interpol songs that I've heard, which is like what four now. Uh, I think that th that's really been one thing that's kind of stuck out to me as something I really enjoy is his vocal style. Um, but on top of that, you get some really great instrumentation. The guitar work, I think, throughout was really fun, really energetic. Kind of get grabs you and hooks you with with some really creative and and, and uh, catchy riffs. Again, I like what they did when they kind of paused everything, let the guitar kind of bring you back into it, and then bring in the drumming and the rest of the instrumentation. I thought that was really fun. Uh, so yeah, instrumentally, vocally, this one was solid. Again, if I had one small complaint, as I mentioned when when the song first ended, it just I, to me I felt like it dragged on a little bit too long. Um, I think they could have remedied, remedied that with giving you just like one last go of the, of the instrumentation uh, and the vocals. But, you know, regardless, I thought it was fine. I'd give it two big thumbs up instrumentally and vocally. As far as replay value goes, I think this one makes the playlist, you know, it, it was solid. I want to say that Evil is probably still my, at, at this moment in time, my favorite Interpol song that I've heard. Although, you know, this one might benefit from a second listen like, like Evil did. But, hey, still a very good, solid, good and solid song. It's going to make the playlist. I give it two big thumbs up So uh, for replay value. So yeah, overall, a great song. Thank you so much for all the people who have been requesting this one. It's been a while, so sorry it took me so long, but we got to it. So anyway, hey, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. And of course, if you like what you saw here today, consider supporting the channel. You know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, leave your comments with your requests because that's how we got this song after all was through your requests. And so leave those in the comments. You can even check the description to follow me on Twitch, TikTok, or Instagram. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.